Assalamualaikum and have a good day. I have guys today my friend and I we are going to present our book short story. It's a fiction and fantastic. It also has a relation relationship between child and mother. This is the third short story that we are going to present. It's about paper many paper menagerie by Ken Liu. In introduction, title of the story was Paper Menagerie by Ken Liu, published on 2011 in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. So, we have a little story about the author. The author is Ken Yu, and he was born in 1976 at Lanzhou, China. His occupation was author, translator, and also programmer. He was author of science fiction and fantasy short story. And he was the winner of multiple Hugo winning America. His epic fantasy story was the Dandelion Dynasty. Setting of this story is the time between of Jack's alternate back and forth memories of his relationship with his mother and the present time. The next part of this story presentation was plot. Part was plot. The first chapter on plot is exposition. The story starts with a Jack and his mother who's having a magic tradition make a live origami paper to him. Mother's Jack make a magical origami paper which the origami can talk, can work with itself because it makes by a magic power. That is the fantasy fantasy of the story. Jack makes his mother feel like she was at home back in China. The next part of plot is rising story. As they moved to America, Jack become more mean to his mother. It was because he want to be like the other son in American who's having a real toys, not only a magical origami he feel shams because his friend have a rare toys but he doesn't he only have a magical origami in fact jack adapt to american lifestyle which using english as their communication all the time and also his lifestyle Next part of plot in this story is climax. Jack become more rude to his mother and it destroyed their relationship. He don't want to talk with his mother and doesn't think about his about his feel because his mother can't talk in English so he doesn't want to talk with his mother. Even when his mother at the hospital and sick he still think about his own, which Jax can push. So we can see that Jack really, really a selfish man. After the climax, we have falling action. Remember at the climax, at the hospital, when his mother was sick, at that time, his mother was dead. And the falling in the falling action, after two years his mother's dead, Jack suddenly remember about his mother and find back his old magical origami toys. Because at the time when Jack want to live as American lifestyle, he collect all his magical toys and put it on shoes box and he doesn't play with it anymore. 
he walk he um, i'm sorry when he find his old origami toy he suddenly found his mother's letter but he can't read that letter because the letter fully with uh, chinese letter so he decide to walk around the neighbor to find someone that can read the letter for him in this resolution jack finally understand his mother by listen to her story that she could not tell to him because he did not want to hear her talk from his mother letter jack accept his ancestry 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 jack accept his ancestry and his tradition by following the crisis i recall that the paper back into lohu cradled him in the crook of my arm and as he pulled we began the, the walk home okay at the end sudden at the end jack realized his mistake with his mother but it useless because his mother already dead so jack can't seek forgiveness from his mother and i feel like wow it's really sad okay the theme of this story is the influence of the environment as we can see all the conflict are begin when they move to america we can see jack become more good and mean to his mother every day and even at the time his mother dead he still doesn't want to think about his mother it was because the lack of respect from their surrounding and their neighbor as the evidence from the story on their first move the neighbor said that look the child look unfinished slanty eyes with face a little monster do you think he can speak english there is the judgment from the american neighbor just because they chinese they doesn't respect the other society after that jack want to become like an american so he decide to change his lifestyle but his mother doesn't that is it that is why jack don't want to talk with his mother he don't care about his mother because he feel shamed with his friend because his mother was chinese okay tons of this story was emotional it was because liu has turned each character and each event feel real like we are reading a true recollection despite the fantastical element for instead what happened between jack his parents mark susan and the young woman who interpret jack's mother letter when the character feel like uh, real people the emotion follows as i done reading the short story i feel emotional because i I feel sad, I feel angry. As Jack yeah, Jack was a son, but he rode with his own mother. Can you imagine how rude son with his mother don't want to talk with his mother and doesn't care about his mother? It's really really hard. 
and at the end of the story i really really feel sad because jack he doesn't have any chance to seek for forgiveness from his mother because his mother already dead okay that's all from me okay i pass to my friend thank you for your time and your attention bye thank you assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Hafiza and today I'm going to talk about The Peppermint in Nigeria, which is a short story written by Ken Liu. For the summary of this short story, Jack, which is the main character of the story is the son of a Chinese immigrant and an American man. His mother speaks to him in Chinese as she is unable to communicate in English. His mother has the ability to turn origami into moving animals by magic which she inherited from her tribe. Jack actually loved his culture and his mother's magic, but an incident where it happens in elementary school, he get into a fight with a white classmate named Mark because he calls Jack's toy a Chinese garbage. This, this event also leads him to despise something that he actually cherished. Because of that, he spent the rest of his life shunning his mom and being ignorant toward his own culture in response of hoping to become completely Americanized. And during that time, Jack's father is supportive of his way and allows him to actually treat his mom disrespectfully. Eventually, Jack's mom stops trying to change Jack's decision to become whitewash and slowly drifts away from her, her own son for the sake of his happiness. After a period of illness, Jack's mother passes away. And then a few years after Jack's mom passes away, an old origami tiger named Kaolu, which was once Jack's favorite toy, unfolds him itself and reveals a, let a letter written, written by his mother. These are some of the important quotes in the story. The first one something about the mixing never seems right the child looks unfinished slanted eyes white face a little monster this this quote was saying said by jack's new white neighbor the second one english speak english which was said to jack uh, which was said by Jack toward his mother. The third one, you are in America, Jack's dad. Also directed toward Jack's mother. If mom spoke to me in Chinese, I refuse to answer her, Jack. By Jack. And the last one, I said that I needed to get to the airport early because I didn't want to miss my flight. She died when my plane, plane was somewhere over Nevada. So this quote was said by Jack during his hospital visit when her mom was admitted to the world because of her cancer was already beyond surgery
And then the conflicts that happen in the story, Jack versus Jack, which is Jack versus himself, Mark versus Jack, Jack versus his mom, and mom versus society. So these are the discussion question in the short story. The first one, what relevance does this story have to our generation and how our society views certain culture opposed to the norm? Most of us actually can relate towards this story because this also happens in our life and our surrounding. We live in a society that has many rays and and some of us actually have a have a difficulty to accept other others culture and towards this story can you actually highlight the situation by by some of the event that happened in the short story for example you can see this in the beginning of the story when jack's family first came into their new neighborhood the second one why are people so resistant to accept the different realities and normalities of people from various backgrounds? This actually would not be happen at all if other people actually make some effort to learn or to actually ask to the person itself about the, their cultures. And the last one, which is moral of the story, we need to appreciate everything we have before it becomes what we had. In the story, Jax, Jax actually regrets about the time when he shunned his mother and when he actually, and he actually regrets that he completely rejecting his Chinese heritage. The second one, accept and respect yourself when nobody else will. The, th the third one, spend your life cherishing and embracing your background. And the last one, live your life fully and without regrets. So that's it for me. Thank you very much.